Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be doing a little hair video. I'm gonna be styling these braids, which I just redid in about mm, maybe four or five different ways. Two are my go-tos, and then we're gonna figure out what other three we can create with this. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start off by doing my edges. Eagle Starlight first. I literally use the littlest amount, flatten it to the shape that I'm going for. Just straighten it out as much as you can. So that when it's time to put the ebon on, it's already shaped correctly. All you gotta do is swoop it. So get those all nice and straightened out. And just keep like rubbing it. Now it's just all flat and it's like kind of, Kind of tacky it's kind of like how you let your glue dry before you put that lash on you want to find that tackiness that happy medium to where your edges can stay in place because if it's too dry then it's going to be flaking up if it's too wet it's going to be curling up so it's just that perfect little balance that the eco styler and the ebon gives that literally holds your edges in place all day and when i say all day i mean all when you have stuff rubbing against it, it's gonna lift. It lifts, but it stays in that shape, which is the best thing ever. So yeah, we go on with our ebon. You'll never see me not use two hands when doing my edges, right? So that's first swoop. And when I tell you I'm not using that much product, like, I'm really not. Keep it cute, keep it simple. Baby hairs. Hint, <laughs> baby. Little. And do the same thing to the other side. Right, so always keep that second finger present. Literally laying it on your forehead. None of it is lifted. I know you see it. I know you see it. And boom. And normally I would put my scarf on so that it can like really lay flat, but for the sake of the video, we're just gonna jump right into it, right? My apologies if it is a little louder, but I really don't want these edges to lift off because I'm out here sweating, okay? If y'all want the tutorial on how to get the look short, curly vibe. Let me know in the comments. So since we're already kind of in the little bun situation, let's get into the first hairstyle. If your braids are little grown out, I find it best to like twist and then put it up. Just so that it then looks tighter and neater. Just like how it looks when you do a retwist. It's the same effect. This is hairstyle number one. Since it was already in the little bun, might as well make it cuter. And boom, you're done. You ain't even had to do much. You just whip that in a bun and make sure your little curly pieces are coming out so that it has that little effect. It looks like a little octopus. Like this is the body and then these are the little legs. It's my little octopus bun or whatever. Boom, okay. You can also just bring one of these out. Get a little girly. Also bring your second one out too. And that's how you can make this little bun situation a little accentuated. It shapes your face nicely, the little bangs, you know? Instead of the bun, I like to tie it here. You just, and it gives it a really cute look. Like I feel like it's very 90s. My most favorite is these four tied up. I feel like it shapes the face a little better because you have more hair down. Obviously, you can bring one of these up. And you know I love the double strand. I love the double strand. I love the one with the two strands. The one strand makes you look younger. That's my opinion. Which is not a bad thing. Bring it forward. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? You bring it forward, right? A little octopus situation again. These are gonna fall out. You can also just tuck them, like, within the braid. And that's it. Oh. Just so that they stay up. How that kitchen looking? I don't know how that kitchen looking back there. <laughs> don't be making fun of me. But this is another one, just a cute little bun. You can do a pineapple, but that, it just reminds me of Wix. 
don't want it to look like I have wigs in my hair, okay? I feel like it makes me look young. Make sure the back is good too. I understand some of the girlies don't care about the back because they can't see it, but I'm not that girl. I want to make sure I look good 360, so let's do one. bring that strand back. I just feel like I look older. When I do this hairstyle, it always reminds me of the girl from Friday, the little Puerto Rican day, her little fine eating kabachi. <laughs> I think that's about it when it comes to these hairstyles, which are my go-tos. Let's see what else we can create out of this though. Obviously, you could do the all down. What if you braided the braids? This is cute. This is cute. I'm literally gonna go get me two matching clips. I kind of like the style of this one more, but y'all get the vision. Two clip situation, boom, that's cute. Just break the front, a little moment going on to it. Okay, what else? That was cute, that was cute, that was cute. I like that, let's see what one. That's cute, I like that. I like it, I like it. Ooh, a twisty tie. Okay, it's not it's not that much different from the other one. What else could we do? <laughs> That's cute. I like it. I'm actually going to get a storage, so I'm going to have to end the video now. We all know my all-time favorite is going to be this one. It just gives that 90s vibe. It doesn't cause me to need a hair tie or a clip. It's just very easy, quick, and it gives, it gives everything that it needs to get. <laughs> Hopefully I helped you guys figure out how to style your little bob. Maybe I inspired you to get a braids bob. Whatever you got out of this video, let me know in the comments. And I would love to see that. Please like, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one. Bye.